Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my channel. If you are new, welcome, I'm glad that you stopped by. It's great to have you here. So today we're gonna to be doing some dehydrating. We are going to be dehydrating some delicious Fuji apples. I love dehydrating apples because they make a fantastic snack. They're really easy to dehydrate and wonderful to have on your shelf. Now I know it seems like an odd time of year to be dehydrating apples because they are not in season right now. It is March and apples obviously are not in season, but my grocery store has had a great sale on them the last several weeks. So I've been stocking up on them just to dehydrate them and have them on my shelf in a dehydrated state. So lots of people ask me about ways to save money when you're preserving food. And the best way to do that is to either buy and dehydrate or preserve however you're preserving your food when a vegetable or a fruit or whatever it is you're using is in season or to just do it when they're on sale. So I always look for sales. I always try to do things in season. And like I said, even though apples are out of season right now, um, they have had some great sales at my grocery store. So I've been stocking up. So what you want to do first is because they are, because I'm buying them at the grocery store, they are, most of them will be covered in a food grade wax and we want to remove all that. We want to make sure that they're nice and clean. So what I do is I soak them for a few minutes in cold water with some white vinegar and move them around gently. You don't want to bruise them. And then I wipe them down and make sure that they're squeaky clean and there's no more of the wax residue on them. So I do that first. Then what I do is I core them and then I slice them in about quarter inch slices. I just use a knife to do this. You can certainly use a mandolin or if you have a food processor that allows you to do um, nice slices, that will work as well. But I just do it by hand with a knife. So I cut them in quarter inch slices and then I let them soak in a lemon and water, a lemon juice and water solution. Most of the resources will tell you to um, pre-treat them. So that means either doing the lemon juice in the water or you can use a preservative like Mrs. Wages Fruit Fresh Preserver. Ball also makes one. It's just ascorbic acid. Uh, this one has sugar, urethorbic acid, ascorbic acid, and silicone dioxide in it. But they all have a little bit different instructions for using it. So make sure you read the instructions of whatever anti-browning agent you're using and you use it appropriately. Since I use the lemon juice, the ratio for that is a tablespoon of lemon juice for every cup of water. So I had used six cups of water, so I used six tablespoons of lemon juice. So once you wash and cut up your apples, you wanna let them sit in the pre-treatment solution for three to five minutes, then give them, or then drain them and rinse them, and then you can go ahead and line your uh, dehydrating trays with your apple slices. Pop them in your dehydrator and you're gonna set your dehydrator to 135 and you're going to dehydrate them until they at least feel pliable. That's how Ball describes it. That's how my Excalibur book describes it. I like to take mine a little bit further than that as far as texture goes, but it's entirely up to you. I like to take mine, these are past pliable. <laughs> I like to take them to where they're almost crispy. See, they, they, you can hear them, they're kind of crispy, but I love that because it makes them really chewy. They're just fabulous. I like that texture better, but that's entirely up to you. So you want to dehydrate them until they're at a minimum pliable. If you want to go farther than that to crisp up the texture a little bit, that's fine too. Another option also is to sprinkle them with a little cinnamon or cinnamon and sugar before you dehydrate them. Just adds some more flavor, some more sweetness to them. I usually dehydrate a really sweet apple like Fuji. Um, so I don't do that. They're, in my mind, they're already sweet enough. But if you did like a Granny Smith or a variety that is um, more on the tart side, sprinkling them with cinnamon and sugar might be an option for you. So let's get started. 
Okay guys, I have my apples all washed. Like I said, I did wash them with a water and vinegar solution to remove the uh, wax, the food grade wax that's on them. So then what I do is I just take a corer and core my apple. And then you can use a mandolin if you want to. I tend to do it um, by hand. We want to cut them in about quarter inch slices. And then I just put them in my water and lemon solution. Um, let them sit three to five minutes. Then I will drain them, rinse them, and then we can put them on the dehydrating trays. Okay guys, I went ahead and drained and rinsed my apple slices. So now we're ready to put them on the trays and obviously you just want to give them a little bit of space, but they can be fairly close together. Okay, once your trays are full, they're gonna go into the dehydrator around 135 degrees um, for about six hours or so. I'll start checking them at the four hour mark. Welcome to my extended pantry. My dehydrator lives down here. We are about four hours into dehydrating our apples, so I brought you down so we can check them out and see how they're doing. They're not there yet. I didn't expect them to, but it's always a good idea to check them just to see where they are. They're um, still, you can tell, they're still very uh, moist. Uh, and definitely not dehydrated yet. They've got some give to them, but they're still pretty plump. So we definitely need to give them more time. Welcome back guys. As you can tell, it is not the same day that I started dehydrating my apples. It was getting late and I was getting tired. So it was too late to finish my video. So this is the next day. I did dehydrate my apples for about seven and a half hours. Your dehydrating time is all gonna be dependent upon your environment and how humid, how much humidity is in your home or wherever your dehydrator is. All those things play a role. So it's about seven and a half hours for me. And like I shared with you guys, I like to take mine a little bit farther. You only need to dehydrate them till they are pliable and feel dehydrated. Um, but I like to take mine till they almost have a crispness to them. Um, so there they are. He's all done. I will store them in a mason jar. You can vacuum seal your mason jars if you want to. I don't always vacuum seal mine and they stay good for a long time. Mason jars are a great way to store all kinds of things and keep them fresh. Apples are fabulous to do, you guys. They're so simple. So if you are someone who is not well-schooled in dehydrating, this is a great place to start because they're so easy to do and they are a wonderful on-the-go snack, really easy uh, to take with you. So I hope you'll give them a try. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.